Welcome. I want to talk about scar tissue and collagen tissue, the main difference. Collagen tissue is what we have right now, being healthy in a particular joint or part of our body. You have ligaments that are actually allowed to stretch to a certain degree. We have tendons that are allowing the muscles to contract as you're moving joints. There is always tensile forces going on in the body. When we look at the spine, even just holding our head down with the excessive weight of forward head posture, this can cause micro traumatic changes occurring in those particular structures of the ligaments and tendons. The collagen is actually the matrix that, that, that mends everything together. But the good thing about collagen, collagen gives us increased mobility. It allows the mobility of the neck to move good from side to side and turn from one side to the next. Whatever you're doing day after day, from looking down on a computer, texting, sitting and driving in a car, uh, typing, affecting your wrists, uh, pulling things, shrugging things, lifting things, whatever you're doing, those microtraumatic injuries can cause collagen to break down. It can cause tearing within the structures. Not only those small injuries, but what about the other injuries of, of maybe playing your sports, working out in the gym, or lifting too much weight, uh, being obese, having poor posture in the lower back, walking around with too much weight uh, in our body. Uh, all of this wears and tears our body and causes the body to break down. Now, if you look at normal collagen tissue, collagen tissue is supposed to be nice and stretching like this. Okay, what happens is when there's an injury, if you have tearing to this collagen tissue, if it's tearing to a muscle or a ligament, muscles actually attach into bones, ligaments hold bone to bone. Uh, in any joint, we have ligaments that keep the bones intact. But again, the muscles are uh, from the other end have tendons on both sides that attach into each side of the bone that allows us to move. But if there's injuries to those muscles or tendons, that collagen tissue becomes torn and replaces itself with scar tissue. Scar tissue does not have that normal durability, does not have that elasticity. So now um, a person may say, okay, I can turn over to my left side like this and I can only go maybe halfway. Or if I go all the way back, I can't go all the way back. Or if I stand up and I, and I go ahead and touch my toes, I can't, I can't move any farther. Or if I want to bring my shoulder back, it won't go any farther because you potentially have scar tissue in those areas. Adhesions, which is that scar tissue, that, that tissue that does not have that normal stretching durability because the scar, scar tissue becomes tight. In other words, it's like, it's like taking this rubber band and folding it a few times. This is all it's stretching. Instead of it being like this, where it's actually giving you that full range of motion, now it's not giving you that full range of motion and it starts to stick. So having this decreased range of motion makes things worse. It's a double-ended sword because now you have decreased range of motion. Without motion, you lack the, the circulation, you lack the nutritious uh, nutrition that's supposed to go into the area, and you lack the synovial fluid, the fluid that keeps things nice and loose. And then you start developing like frozen shoulder or you start developing more arthritis in the neck or the lower back because it's not moving. Because when you lack movement, you lack life. When you lack life, things get sick. And that's just the way the body uh, compensates and tries to repair things when things aren't working correctly. So that's why it's so important to do the stretches and the exercises that I have on my channel to break down that fibrous adhesions that are present in the neck, in the back, throughout the joints, and all the self-help videos that I share with you. There's a reason why we do these, so we can get things functioning correctly. Remember, without movement, we don't have function. Without function, we don't have health. I hope this uh, gives you a better perspective and understanding about your body. I, I'm sure that you're going to want to ask some questions. Leave them below. I'm sure many of the thousands of people out there would want to respond, even read your questions. Share this video with, those, with others that can benefit. Subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive the best of self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.